Alright, I got it running. Comfy UI on Windows 11 with an RCAS. Alright, first let's take a look at the version of the drivers that we use before we are going to install Comfy UI. I use the version 25.6.1 of AMD software Adrenaline Edition. Alright, let's move on to the next step, Comfy UI. In case you want to know the comments that we are going to run, I can recommend you this article that I've been writing and the link is in the description. So we are going to use this for the video too. The first thing we need to do is uh, we go to the Comfy UI GitHub repository. We can run the following comments if you got git installed on a command line or we can just download it from the GitHub by downloading the zip file. Uh, let's open it, it will be in our download folder. All right, there we go, we got a ConfUI master zip. And as you can see, ConfUI is in there. So let's extract this thing to download or copy it. So as you can see, here's the folder. I'm going to rename it to ConfUI. And now we got ConfUI here. All right, now it's time to install Python. We're going to install 3.11.9. So download the Windows installer. Also, this link is in the description. If you see this and you got multiple versions of Python, it's good to modify it and to make PyLauncher uh, to turn this one on. Well, let's go back because I saw it in here. Because the thing is that you can run multiple Python versions on the same machine. If you got this installed. Ah, setup's failed, but probably because I already have it installed already. Because the thing is, when I open command line like this, command prompt, if you don't know how to do it, just click the Windows button, type CMD, hit enter, and you got a command prompt. Now you can enter Python dash this version. This will give me the default version of Python 3.10, but we need Python 3.11. So we are going to use our Py launcher and we can do that by doing this. And as you can see, that will give us the version that we need. All right, now we are going to our downloads folder. So this folder is the same as the one that we got here. And what we are going to do is we are going to make our virtual environment. So let's go into the ConfUI folder. And here we are going to use the following command. Pi minus 3.11 minus module virtual environment and we create the virtual environment let's do that okay and now we are going to activate it so we are going to use event scripts and activate so we got our isolated python 3.11 environment all right uh, the thing is we need to install the torch files of the repository, the unofficial PyTorch repository by uh, Scott. So I'm going to show you that because right now we only got the Python packages, pip and setup tools. And now it's time to install the unofficial torch files. You can uh, do that by following step three, install the dependencies. So we are going to download the files. And we need the Python 3.1 wheels. So there's this one, this one, and this one. So you download them. One, two, three. Now you have to wait a little while because this one is big. Before we continue, let's take a look at my new web app called Resumir AI. It's an app where you make a photo of a document or a book or a paper, and it will summarize the text within seconds. Our unofficial torch files are downloaded and we are going to move them into the ConfUI folder. 
Okay, the next thing we need to do is open the requirements of Conf UI and go to NumPy because it says that it's going to install a version bigger than 1.25 and the last version is version 2 and when you run Conf UI on Windows 11 with Rockam, it's not going to work, it's going to generate errors. So I'm going to take the last version in the 1 series that is the release and that is version 1.26.4 and I make it equal to this version. So now I save it, close it. All right, now go back to the article and we are going to install the torch files, the unofficial PyTorch files. So let's do that by running the following commands. Copy from the article. Right, torch audio and torch vision. As you can see, successfully installed NumPy 2.3.1. That's not what we want, so we are going to uninstall it. And now hit pip install requirements all right and it's time to run conf ui so i got it on normal vram and i'm going to open this link in the browser and there we go so as you can see we need the stable diffusion excel checkpoints in order to run the sdxl workflow or if you start with another template probably you start with this one the image generation which uh, generates the image from stable diffusion 1.5 So let's choose this one, you can download them both and put them in the right folder. Once you've downloaded them, you can put them into Conf UI from here on. Put them in the models. And from here on you put them in checkpoints all right and then it would automatically work you press run and now we can check adrenaline to see if it started and the utilization is 99 percent so that looks good the generation is in full effect and there we go.